Hello YouTube, this is Asatsu5 and I'm going to do a vlog video today. And I'm going to try to make it quick because I only have a short amount of time to upload it through my iPhone. So let's get started. Uh, this all started with a rude comment I got from a viewer saying that America is probably a, is a, a pretty crappy place to live if you feel the need to carry a gun or knife. And I, I told myself I want to respond to this comment, but I did. Um... Uh, because I wanted to defend my homeland, um, and I said, uh, it's not the fact that I need to carry a knife or I need to carry a gun because I'm afraid of something happening. Um, it's the fact that I have the freedom to, and I left that in the comment. I said, I have the freedom to, so I'm going to enjoy those freedoms. And uh, he left a response saying, well, uh, you must be afraid of something because you're carrying these weapons and your video and your YouTube channel is all about tactical and all, all that stuff. And um, I said, no, I'm not really afraid of anything happening. Um, you know, I don't live in fear. I, you know, I just don't. Um, I don't think anything bad is going to happen. And hopefully it won't. Uh, but, um, uh, I, 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 I put this in the comment, uh, use this analogy. I'm not afraid of driving on the highway or driving around town and getting in a wreck and dying or being ran off the road by a drunk driver, but I still wear a seatbelt. Not only because it's the law, but I just feel that it's a good idea. Um, so, um, I wear a seatbelt. Um, I, a lot of people use this example, uh, you know, they're not afraid of their, ha their house burning down, but they still feel that it's a good idea to keep a fire extinguisher around. Um, and there's been several occasions where uh, me and my brother had to use a fire extinguisher at the fireworks stand, and our boss refused to provide us with one. That's a different story. But um, um, anyways, yeah, it's a good idea to keep a fire extinguisher around. It's a good idea to wear your seatbelt. Um, am I in fear that I'm going to burn down the house or um, that's, you know, a, I'm going to get ran over? No. It's just a good idea. And uh, I, I, I put this in the comment and I often describe myself as a Boy Scout dropout. And um, what that means is I never made it to Eagle Scout. Uh, I quit uh, in the middle of it. For whatever reason, I can't remember. Um, actually, I do kind of remember, but that's for a different story. Um, but uh, I share a lot of the same values that the scouts have to offer uh, in the teachings. Uh, so uh, I want to be that guy when people, when something happens, they look up to me for a solution. And it doesn't have to be a hero defeating the bad guy type thing. It could be as simple as, hey, I need a screwdriver. Do you have a screwdriver? Yes, I do. I carry a multi-tool. It can be, hey, it's kind of dark in here. You have a flashlight? Yeah, I have a flashlight. It, it, and it makes me feel good that I'm prepared in that way and that I'm helping people. Like I said, it's not a hero thing. It's just helping a, another person out, doing a good deed. It's that simple. Um, uh, now something, I don't want to say that, use the word fear because I'm not afraid of this happening, uh, per se. I don't think it's going to happen and I hope it doesn't happen, but I would not be able to live with myself if for whatever reason, um, uh, uh, me and the group I was with, people I care about, got, uh, mugged or, uh, someone tried to call Jack, uh, me and, um, uh, they said, all right, give me your keys, but the woman, she stays. That's no good. That's no braino. Um, I will not be able to live with myself if that happened. So, in that case, uh, I would like to be able to say that I could have done something. I could have stopped this thing from happening, either using a gun or a knife. Would I be successful? No, but I'll, I'll go down fighting. Um... And, um, uh, you know, hopefully I'll be able to save that other person that, I'm, that I care about, whether it be 
my uh, wife, girlfriend, brother, mama, sister, br you know, um, I think that's a very valid reason why to carry a weapon. Not not necessarily to defend yourself um, uh, or your money, because uh, you can give up your money. Uh, and, uh, you know, I don't always care about myself. And let me... Let me uh, rephrase that. Um, I I take a lot of risk. Um, uh, I've swam with sharks. I've gotten in a cage with a tiger and got bit by it. That's another story. Um, but um, you know, my family, my my friends. You know, I really care more about them than I do at myself at times. Uh, so I'd like to be able to. Uh, help them in that situation you know someone takes my vehicle oh well um, I can get a new one but you know friends and family we can't just replace them so uh, but like I said I'm not afraid of it happening I don't think it's gonna happen I don't wake up in the morning and go oh crap I hope no one uh, carjacks me um, or mugs me and my family or breaks into my house. I just don't do that. I don't live like that. Um, and uh, that's the point um, of, of me carrying um, a tactical knife, gun, pepper spray, uh, tactical pen, uh, martial arts, what have you. And um, this was a very interesting conversation. You know, I ended it after the second response. Um, but, um, you know, it got me thinking about that. And then on Facebook, they had this post saying that uh, 2009, Britain found to be the most violent country in uh, Europe. Having uh, 2,034 uh, 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 violent crimes per 100,000 people. And the United States are only having 466. Now, I'll be the first one to tell you, I don't trust half of the stuff they put on Facebook. A lot of it's propaganda. A lot of it's just people trying to get a lot of likes or views or likes or responses. Um, I, there was even a story that uh, Jackie Chan died um, in a, um, filming a, a stunt. And it turned out not to be true. So I really doubt this is it. I really doubt that this is true. But it got me thinking about U.S. Uh, statistics. Let's look at them, shall we? Um, total number of deaths per 100,000 people is uh, 58.6. All poisoning deaths, keep in mind this is suicide, homicide. Um, drugs, alcohol, all that stuff. I'm assuming um, uh, total number of deaths, 42,917. Or poor 100,000, 13.9. That's a pretty high number. That's a lot of people being poisoned one way or another. Let's look at firearm deaths. And keep in mind, these are very broad statistics. Uh, firearm deaths can be homicide, suicide, accident. It could be um, uh, bad guy versus bad guy. It can be good guy versus bad guy. It can be a police officer versus a suspect. It's not just homicides, pe innocent people, mass shooting. It's not just that. It's all of that, including police officer versus sus suspects and suicides and all that kind of thing. But uh, total number of deaths. Uh, by the way, this is the CDC government website, Center for Disease and Control. Um, 31,672. That's uh, poor 100,000, uh, 10.3. Let's look at traffic. Total number of deaths, 33,687. That's a total poor 100,000, 10.9. So you're um, 0.6% more likely to die in traffic that you're all from a gun. Think about that. Uh, all drug poisoning deaths, poor 100,000, 
12.4. So, pretty likely or pretty common that people die from drug overdosing. So, um, this whole thing got me thinking uh, um, about the statistics and all that. Um, I don't know how violent Britain is. I know that they have some of the same issues that we have here in America. Um, um, I feel that being armed is more of a freedom thing uh, and a love thing as um, far as caring about the people you're with than it is a feel thing. Uh, uh, not Nothing against the Brits. I have many British subscribers and they most of them complain to me about their knife laws. And um, I, I sympathize with that. But that being said, I'm probably not going to visit your country anytime soon. Not because I have anything against y'all, the citizens, but it's the laws that over there. And I'm obviously a knife guy, and British people, or the British law, isn't too knife-friendly. So I'd rather visit a place like the Philippines, um, you know, Ebok, Switzerland, um, I don't know what the knife laws are, but I'd like to visit the Swiss Army Factory. I'd like to visit uh, Toledo, Spain. Um, but uh, the Philippines, yeah, uh, uh, that's pretty high on my list. I wouldn't mind visiting Scotland or um, seeing the Stonehenge and the castles. Uh, but um, I don't want to deal with the... Uh, British government, uh, anti-knife um, and gun laws. And by the way, the British have a very fine firearm history. Um, Holland and Holland, Porty, um, they make some exquisite guns. But uh, uh, they just have, in my opinion, really jacked up laws. And I hope I don't offend anybody. I don't mean to offend, but that's just how I feel. Um, uh, those places in uh, the United States I do not want to visit uh, because of that, uh, because of those same things. It's not just Britain. Those places in the Uni United States that I really don't care to visit because they have some really jacked up laws. And they don't adhere to the Constitution the way I see it. Um, but fortunately, I live in Texas, and I enjoy Texas. Um, and that's it. I feel that, I, I don't feel, but I feel that um, carrying a weapon is a freedom thing and a love thing. L loving the people you're with to help them. Um, but not fear-based. Uh, I'm a Boy Scout dropout, and I hope you enjoyed this um, video. If you did like it, if you did enjoy it, um, leave a comment. I might make more vlog-style videos. I hope y'all have a great day, and I'm a Satsu 5. Have a good one. I'm out.